So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you a hotly anticipated concept video for future FIFA. Now this one has been requested in the comment section every, pretty much every single time I've done one of these videos and if you've missed any of them in the past you can check out the top right of the screen that will take you to a playlist of all these concept videos that I've done including online career mode, uh, we've got the, there was a world cup mode, the champions league mode, all that sort of stuff so you can check them all out in the top right of the screen. Today's video however is going to be focusing on referees and a referee game mode on future FIFAs. If you go on to enjoy the video, slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As I mentioned, this one has been requested probably hundreds of times in the comment section. It's utterly ridiculous, quite frankly, and probably the most difficult one I've been able to do because it's quite difficult to think of loads of things you can do in, in a referee mode. Okay, fairs you might be able to play as a referee, but an entire game mode around it is a bit more difficult. In the background though is the first of two concept pages that I'm going to be showing you in this one. And as per usual, I'm showing off the play tab or sort of the main one when you load into the game mode. So obviously its layout is quite similar to FIFA 18 in terms of the tiles set up, but it's got a little, a, a couple of more features when it comes to FIFA 19's branding like the, the paint brushes that are obviously part of FIFA 19's branding with Cristiano Ronaldo and all that sort of stuff on the cover. So we've got that in terms of like the design and layout, the six tiles on this particular screen. You can see though, however, there's, there's five tabs in total. We've got play, which is obviously the main one with the news and where you actually play the games or simulate them, of course. You've got the stat section, which I'll show you as the second one, the second design on the screen that'll come at like the second half of the video. We've got training, season and online as well. And I'll talk you through those after we've gone through the two main designs. So obviously on play match, you can see we've got next match and sim match so if you can't really be bothered to actually play the match then that's absolutely fine you can just simulate it instead and you'll get you know you'll you'll get your referee performance simulated now obviously the main objective i guess of a referee mode would pretty much just to it would be a sort of road to glory style thing but as a, a, an official it's it's quite an odd concept when you think about it, but it might actually work to an extent, I don't really know. Obviously you'd start off as a lower league referee maybe with your lower referee badges, because obviously you go, that's what a training section is about, you know, getting your badges and stuff and refereeing licenses, so that you can, you know, referee bigger matches and international matches and international tournament matches in the future. But obviously when you start this game mode, you're not gonna have a very high refereeing level or reputation. So you're gonna have to start off in the lower leagues maybe of the EFL or in the second division of French football if you're starting over there or Spanish or German football etc and starting off managing or sorry not managing refereeing or overlooking smaller games so you wouldn't get rival games for example you know you wouldn't get the big games in your league you'd start off with the small ones and then when it comes to making big decisions and making correct decisions if you have good games and you don't make too many mistakes obviously then your reputation and XP level will rise and you'll start being gifted bigger games maybe even rise into bigger leagues then start getting European and international games as well. So that's sort of the premise of what the game mode would be all about, I guess. That's really the, the storyline of the career mode would be to start off as a, as a lower league referee and then build your way up through good performances. Just want to get that out there. That's sort of what it would be all about. In terms of the tabs though, you can see, as I mentioned, the play one here with next match and sim match. In this iteration or in this design, you can see that the next game is an Arsenal Tottenham game. So a North London derby. That's because they're down at the bottom right of the screen this referee's reputation is actually pretty decent it's three and a half stars so it's not necessarily enough to be getting champions league games on a regular basis or maybe be taken as the england official to a world cup for example but it's decent enough to be a high ranking domestic referee as you can see there by the level top domestic ref three and a half stars four stars might be european referee Four and a half stars might be top European referee, and then five stars might be, you know, your World Cup, Euro, your or European competition referees, etc. So apart from the next match and sim match, which is pretty self-explanatory, also got the calendar there on the bottom left, which is where you can view your future games and your schedule and stuff. Again, that's pretty self-explanatory. You'll know obviously the Arsenal Tottenham game is your next one, but you want, might want to know when your next games are and what you're scheduled in for, whether you're going to be a referee or a linesman in those fixtures or whatever. And then customize next to that as well, where you can change the of your referee, the characteristics of your referee, I don't know, heck, the running style of your referee if you really care that much, or how they wear their shirts and all that sort of stuff. So obviously physical appearance and then also aesthetic appearance as well when it comes to like clothing and stuff like you would customize a normal player 
on um, on FIFA 18 as well. So that's where you'll change your name, what you go by, your nationality and stuff, and all, all that sort of stuff as well. So that's that's your customized tab. Then you also got news here as well. As you can see, it's Jose Mourinho looking a bit down. I'm sure he's about to complain about one of your refereeing decisions that you had in your games. I imagine the news section would basically revolve around refereeing decisions and correct decisions and also controversial ones as well, especially to do with yourself and other referees as well. You might also have interactions with other referees too. I don't know where that would come. That might come somewhere in the season tabs where you have interactions with other refs or whatever. And uh, also on top of that, as I mentioned, the reputation bar, which is sort of built upon XP and your XP level then determines your star rating. And if you gain enough XP, you move up to a higher star rating and that's when you start getting invited to referee bigger and more important games. On to the second part though of this design. As you can see here is the second tab. This is the stats one and this really basically is where you can see the progress of your career throughout a season. So how well you are doing. Just to, just to how well you're doing in terms of your statistics, in terms of appearances, the correct decisions you make. On the left hand side obviously you can see the profile and then maybe that's another tab where you can do a bit of customization. In this instance the speciality is the referee. You've got a relatively high overall because the experience level and reputation is quite high that all sort of keys in together if you like but on the right hand side is where the main statistics obviously are in this design you can see as a referee we've got seven appearances we've got quite a number of correct decisions in terms of standard correct decisions that's the sort of small fouls in defensive areas or they're, they're nothing you know maybe even yellow cards and stuff but nothing really too major but then your correct major decisions is, is stuff like, I don't know, fouls that lead to goals or red card decisions or penalty decisions. For example, you can see there's 164 total correct decisions, 12 correct major decisions. Incorrect decisions, 11. That might just be where a foul has been given or a throw-in has been given to the wrong team, for example. Incorrect major decisions, though, is where you get a penalty decision wrong or a red card decision uh, wrong. And obviously that will be taken into account with the amount of XP you gain or lose. So an incorrect normal decision might lose you... Like, like, I don't know, a third of an XP point, but an incorrect major decision might lose you four or five. And if you stack those up in a game, you're going to be dropping down in terms of level quite quickly. You might even get, you know, dropped from major Premier League games and having to deal with championship games and smaller Premier League games, for example. You've got VAR assisted decisions as well. Obviously, that, that depends on VAR um, actually being in future FIFAs, but it would be quite good to have that in the game. If you're going to have a referee mode, it would actually make sense. VAR, generally speaking, speaking, it is pretty pointless for a, for a football game, but if you were to have a referee mode, it would actually be very, very useful. So you can see you've got some assisted decisions there with the help of VAR, the amount of XP you've gained across the season, also the, the overall you've gained across the season, which is, I suppose, the collective of that XP. And then in terms of lines, when you, you've got the same thing, appearances, correct decisions, correct major decisions, that's obviously, you know, like goals disallowed or goals that are allowed that weren't offside, for example. Incorrect decisions might be a, a small offside here and there, or, you know, helping your referee out to give a foul, but that will happen to be incorrect. And then incorrect major decisions again, you know, that's if you uh, wrongly rule out a goal for offside, but it was actually onside, etc. If your speciality was linesman instead of referee, maybe you'd have more stats based on your linesman abilities rather than refereeing abilities and all that sort of stuff. So that's the stats page. Training, I briefly mentioned it earlier, but that's obviously where you'll get all your refereeing badges and licenses and stuff. Season is, I suppose, where you can keep up with all the stats of other referees, maybe you can like interact with them, but also you can see how the leagues and top goal scorers are going in the leagues that you're representing and how the Champions League's playing out and all that sort of stuff. So you can still keep in keep up to date with how the save is going generally speaking. It doesn't just have to be all about your referee. And then also the online tab as well where you can referee online games. Now that could potentially cause carnage. Um, obviously, if you were to have a referee on an online game as well, it would probably just, I mean, can you imagine doing foot champions with a real referee? As so someone playing as a referee, that could cause utter carnage, but it would be so sick at the same time. Let's be brutally honest, that would be jokes. Obviously, there have to be measures put in place to make sure people aren't cheating, so you can't be on the friends list of somebody or whatever. It could cause carnage, but equally, it could be very fun indeed. So that pretty much wraps up this concept, really. I don't think there's anything too much more to explain explain about this particular concept but if there's anything else you would like to see added to a referee mode if it was to happen in the future on FIFA then drop it down below in the comment section I would love to hear your thoughts on that one if you 
enjoyed the video, slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it really, really helps me out. And you can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter handle is at the official FNG and my Instagram is exactly the same. Links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>